miss them. And then when someone sitting next to you who we miss, point them out. That's much more likely to work. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Nice word. I learned so much from you. 
I get to share the things I've learned, but I also have learned so much from you. So that's a bit about why we do open space, so that we have the best conversations with everyone contributing. And so uh, now we're going to talk a bit about how open space. Do you have a topic in mind? So um, what PJ is going to do is walk through what you will be doing in a moment when you're going to propose your own topics. PJ is forming an orderly queue. You'll notice how he's being quiet so as not to interrupt other people who are proposing their topic. He has gotten a Sharpie marker from the pile, and he's gotten a uh, sticky note, and he is going to write down the topic proposal. He will also, on that same card, add his initials. Is everyone following along so far? Yeah. He's doing this because he's going to come up in a moment and introduce his topic, and then he will place it on the board somewhere. It doesn't matter where he puts it, because it's not going to stay there. You're going to move it later somewhere. Um, and the initials are important, so that uh, the topic is important, because people are going to vote, and they'll remind them what they're voting on. And the initials are important, so that you don't accidentally put him in two talks in the same time slot, because he's, he's very good, but he's still not good in two places at once. Now, PJ has reached the front of the queue. Hello, everyone. As I mentioned, I'm very interested in talking about the side effects of continuous delivery. So the side effects, the things we didn't expect, but we got anyway when we adopted continuous delivery type processes. He will now pause for questions from the audience. Any questions? Can you give an example? Do I give an example? Uh, yes, so one side effect tends to be, when I adopt continuous delivery, that my automated end-to-end -end testing that I run prior to releasing to production becomes smaller and smaller. <laughs> Bang. I mean, boom. So if you'd like to talk more about that and what I mean, to you about, talk about it. I've seen it. I've been, I've been experimenting for a long, for quite a few years now and seen lots of interesting side effects that if you just told me, oh, we're going to start doing things continuously, I would not have predicted. So this is mostly about the people, the people side. Any other burning questions? <clears throat> he now places it on the board. What if he needs a projector? I don't know. If he needed a projector, he would probably indicate that on the card. Look at that guy. He's been Do you need a projector, PJ? Do I need a projector? No, I don't need a projector. So, we, as far as I know, we, have, we may have two projectors. Why don't you go ahead and make little projector symbols on one and two while you're over there? I will do that. If you need a projector, then make like the international sign for a beamer. <laughs> and if you're not sure what that is, you'll see it on the key here. It looks kind of like an eye radiating out. You guys, in Romania, you talk about beamers? No? Projectors? Yeah. All right. Well, well the, who here would call it a beamer? No? All right. So, Where do you think about a beamer? Germany. Germany. No beamers. No, Netherlands. Beamers would be in the right? So the important thing here is that you all see how you're going to do it. The question is, we're going to have, we're, in a moment, we're going to open this up for you all to start. Importantly, when you're waiting, you're going to have a queue, and you probably have to stretch behind here, and then you're going to realize that actually it's all full. So like, there's no point in like getting 30 people deep. Um, however, when you have more than one topic, you only get to give one topic at a time. So you get the mic, and then you have to go back in the queue again. Okay? So you can't come up and say, I've got five topics, you know, one at a time. And, and again, please remain 